cut an Evanson fire and intake here. And right behind me is a 1962 Chevrolet C60. It's one of our biggest projects yet here on fire and intake, both literally and metaphorically. It's got a lot of problems. It's been sitting here since 1994. It was running and driving when it was parked, but a lot has decayed since then. So let's take a look at one of our new upcoming projects. So first impression is, it's got a lot of rust. The hood is almost completely decayed. Um, it is completely rusted. It's been sitting under this, these trees here. So um, it's in pretty bad shape in terms of the rust. The hood is at least. And then uh, the step here needs like a little bit better support. Uh, well, the door's falling apart and it needs some, uh, some little PV blaster on the hinges, but looking inside, you can kind of see what we're working with. Four speed tandem axle. And that's where our problems lie with the transmission. Let me get in and show you, let me take a look here. So first thing we're gonna look at is the clutch. I'll show you what's wrong with it. It's, uh, I guess it rusted off. So it's not connected to it, to the transmission here. And so that means it won't go out of gear, but it's also out of transmission fluid as me and Casey already figured that out. Um, they actually tried to get this thing running about eight years ago, my father that was, and he, um, they drug it up the road with a tractor and tried to get it out of gear and they couldn't, mainly because the clutch isn't hooked up and secondly because it uh, is out of transmission fluid. So like I said, it's a tandem axle, high and low range on it, um, four speed. Looking at it, the interior is in pretty nice shape. It was actually parked in... 94, that's when they said they parted right after they got it recertified. But um, pretty cheap, 41,000, I'm guessing it's 141,000. Doesn't have a battery in it right now, but um, all the gauges are here, everything's here. Here's the VIN number here. Let's see if I can better get focus in. I think this is the VIN number here. Um, here is where it was um, where it was equipped with a hydraulic bed in Anderson, South Carolina. Down here tells a little bit about the engine. I'm not sure if this is the original engine. I'm told this is a 283 in it, and I'm not sure that they came with 283s and 62. I could be wrong, but I need to look it, look it back up. But let's take a look at under the truck. See what working with it down there. All right, so looking under the first impression right here, the first thing is the uh, muffler is completely rusted off. Um, looking down here, let me see if I can get under here better. It does have power takeoff. That's uh, so what that large thing right there is. And the transmission fluid is uh, non-existent. It's completely out of fluid. We did check the power takeoff fluid and it's pretty good. Um, it's full so we're definitely gonna need some transmission fluid and hook the clutch back in because uh, it was completely out so now we'll take you into the engine bay and see what working with in there here's the hydraulic as you can see it's still working so um, that's pretty good but uh, I, I bet you a million dollars I know where the problem came from was it wouldn't work now um, I think that hose is in pretty bad shape I mean that's just my educated guess I'm not a mechanic or nothing but I'd say so but hey uh, I think you know let's we'll spruce them up I mean it should work fine should be able to get a little nice dump bed we can load all kind of cars in this thing it's probably going to use it for so it's nice All right, coming to the most important part is 283 Chevrolet V8. So, what we're working with here, run and drive before it was parked. So, it does not have an ignition coil. We took it off and put it on the 65 C10. Two-barrel carburetor. Uh, we got it, the uh, free spinning engine. Yeah, turns over by hand, but it does not turn over when the, because the transmission is engaged. So, 
we got, I mean, this one would have, probably has the best potential out of the 65 and the 66 and the C30. So, um, I think that if we just get that transmission out of gear, this thing will, should crank up just a little bit of help, starting fluid or something. So, um, that's basically it. We're going to definitely work on this one. This is probably one of the first ones we work on when we come back, looking to get this thing out of gear and, um, and so we can start and drive. So next, next thing we're gonna do. Um, so if you haven't yet, subscribe and like the video. Comment down below what you think we should do. I know for sure we're gonna keep the tires because they are brand new and they're still pretty good shape. I mean, you don't even see no they dry cracks nothing on them. I mean, that's, that's pretty good for sitting there 24 years. So like and subscribe. Comment down below what you think we should do. We're definitely going to need some parts for it to, because the rust is eat through it. So let us know what you think. We're open to all views. So hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next piece of the Chevrolet collection here on Fire and Intake.